major sort of attractions to many of the world's cities is uh, in the realm of culture and cultural facilities and the architecture and city building aspects of those cultural facilities. And so you see projects like the Tate Modern, for example, which is probably the most highly attended building in the world, um, having such a catalytic effect on an already great city. And I think for me, it all starts with the space itself, that when you think about cities and uh, cultural institutions, that I think the role of architecture is to give those institutions the highest quality space possible so that they have the platforms, the physical platforms, upon which they can be truly successful in their particular cultural context. And I think all of the institutions that uh, we're working with today are all thinking well beyond the paradigm of just being what they were, but they're all trying to engage the city and larger expanded communities in more diverse ways than ever before. Uh, it's a critical piece of their strategy to achieve cultural sustainability in a changing world, in a world where there are many, many choices. But nothing beats the pleasure of experienced art in a communal setting in real time. Glenn Gould said something like, you know, the purpose of art for which I always substitute architecture is not the momentary ejection of a state of adrenaline, like an adrenaline rush. I mean, that's important too. But he said it's about <clears throat> the construction of a lifelong state of wonder. And here, here from, from, you know, one of the great artists, musicians, who actually also achieved the ejection of adrenaline. But what he was talking about is this sort of expansive, constantly growing and changing state of wonder. And that's what art appeals to. That's what it provokes and catalyzes, the state of wonder that you think, you perceive, and that you're changing and growing as a person, as part of the audience, or you may be actually an artist yourself. That's what's interesting to me. Nothing is static. It's always this kind of emerging state of wonder.